Hello guys, good afternoon. This is Professor Henderson again. It's coming to you with another video. So if you like these type of videos, please consider like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So this question is asking about um, blank have to do with knowledge of right and wrong. And we spoke about ethics. Ethics is the um, laws that has to do um, that governs ethical behaviors and um, things that are right from wrong. So B is the correct answer for this question. An example of ethical behavior by a home health aide is, the correct answer for this question is A, protecting the client's privacy. Question three, which of the following terms means harming a person physically, mentally, emotionally, by failing to provide provide needed care and the correct answer for this one is a neglect now the question we have here which is required of an HHA if he suspects that a client is being abused this is question four and the correct answer is the HHA should report immediately to his or her supervisor That's the correct answer for that question. Next question I have here, number five, is that which of the following terms means to steal, take advantage, or, or improperly use money, property, or other assets of another person, which is financial abuse? B is the correct answer. Question six, which of the following is an example of sexual abuse so what is the correct answer for number six will be rubbing up against a client that's the correct answer which of the following is an example of physical abuse the correct answer to this is shoving a client threatening to harm a client if he tells another caregiver about a problem is an example of which abuse question number eight will be psychological abuse b is the correct answer question nine the correct answer for question nine should be for home health aids, confidentiality means keeping private things private. B is the correct answer. Question 10. With whom may an HHA share client's medical information? With whom may an HHA share client's medical information? Question 10, the correct answer will be with other members of the care team, C. Question number 11, uh, which of the following is a term for legal document that, that designates what kind of care a person wants if he or if he is unable to make that decision himself? So the correct answer will be advanced directive B. That's the correct answer for number 11 B. Question 12, which of the following is an example of an advanced directive? The correct answer, durable power of attorney for health care, D. Question 13, question 13, the correct answer should be which of the following is the best way for an HHA to keep clients' health information confidential? Store filed or, or spread documents according to agency policy. C is the correct answer for that question. 14. Which of the following behavior promotes clients' right? So the correct answer will be C, encourage the client to participate in care planning, C. So we're moving on to the next chapter, chapter 4, 
what is the correct order of the three steps of communication, sender, sender sends a message, receiver receives a message, and receiver provides a feedback. A is the correct answer for that question. Question number two will be, um, which of the following is an example of nonverbal communication pointing to a cookie? That's B is the correct answer. Which of the following is an example of a barrier to communication? Question number three, HHA uses medical terminology with clients. That's the correct answer. Question number four we have here, which of the following are ways for HHA to avoid barriers to communication? The HHA should ask open-ended questions that requires more than yes or no response. These are the correct answer. Question five, this chapter is um, an example of active listening and HHA focusing on the client and providing feedback should be the correct answer for question number five, C. Question number six we have here, um, which of the following sentences is an example of a fact? So a fact should be Mr. Craig needed a help to get to the bathroom today. Is that a fact? Yes, that's a fact. So number six answer will be B, Mr. Craig needed help to get to the bathroom. Number seven, the correct answer should be, if a client makes a request that an HHA cannot honor, what would be the best response by the HHA? For question number seven, the correct answer should be, the HHA should explain why the request cannot be um, fulfilled and report to her supervisor. The ATG should explain why the request cannot be uh, filled and report to the supervisors the correct answer to that question. Question number eight talks about um, the part of the word that is added to the end of the root to form a new word is an example of the correct answer to question number eight should be C, suffix. So we have here question number nine, which of the following should an HHA report about a client to her supervisor immediately? So um, the correct answer to this question will be B, chest pain and high fever, high temperature. Question 10, which of the following is an example of an objective information? So question 10, the correct answer should be um, uh, B. B is the correct answer. Question 11, um, which of the following senses is not used in making observation? Taste is the correct answer for this question. D as in David. Question 12, accurate documentation is important because the correct answer for this question should be documentation provides up-to-date records of a client's status and care. B is the correct answer for this question. Question 13, when should documentation be recorded? So the correct answer will be immediately after care, A. Question 14, the correct answer for question 14 should, which of the following occurrences is considered an incident and requires, requires to report, requires a report to be completed? So for question 14, the correct answer will be C. The client falls because that's an incident. You need to report that and fill out an incident accident report. Question number 15. Um, 
When making a call, the ATHA should identify herself and state why she is calling. See is the correct answer for this question. Positive responses to cultural diversity includes making a positive response to cultural diversity include question number 16 should be making assumptions about a person based on stereotype about their culture. Positive response if the culture diversity include number 16. So what would it include or di or discluded? Um, valuing and respecting each person as an individual, yes. Seeing all people from a certain culture as being the same, no. Preferring people of a culture over those of other cultures, making assumptions. Positive. So this question here, this question here doesn't even um, make sense for this chapter. It's question, chapter 4, question 16. Positive responses to cultural diversity include, so it going to be making assumptions about a person based on stereotypes about their culture. Okay, making assumptions about a person based on, so based on stereotyping. I know this question didn't make sense. So... Stereotype. Stereotype. Stereotypes. Stereotypes about their culture. So D is the correct answer for this question. Question number 17. Which of the following shows the correct conversion of 9 p.m. to military time? This is an interested one. So it should be. 2100 hours. Question number 18. When a client becomes combative, HHS should try to find what triggered the behavior. A is the correct answer for that question. 19. If a client makes inappropriate, an appropriate request of an HHS, the HHS should. Question number 19 should be tell the client that the HHA will quit if she is asking that again. Politely let the client know, know it is not it is not allowed. So C will be the correct answer for number 19. C. Politely let the client know that it is not allowed. So that will be the answer for that question. C. So question number 20, the correct answer should be D, Judaism. That's the correct answer. Question 21, the correct answer should be um, C, Buddhism. For question 21 is Buddhism. Question 22 um, should be uh, Christianity. That's the correct answer. Question 23, which of the following people actively deny the existence of God? Is A is the correct answer for 2023. 20, is atheist. C is the correct answer for 20. Three, I'm sorry, is an ATS. 24, the correct answer is C. And 25, the correct answer is B. 1435 hours. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the, my YouTube channel. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.